can hear me over the yard work next door. I'll just run through those chords real quick. I think this is called a uh, G major 7. <laughs> and it's uh, sort of all four strings in a row, starting with the high E string at the second fret, then the B at the third, G at the fourth, and D, or yeah, G at the fourth and D at the fifth. So it's those, just those four. Not an easy one to get, actually. Almost like a B minor you would do, except you do, instead of like that, you do the D up one. So you take that, and then slide it up here. Starting at the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And then a C minor, which you bar like that, right? But I do it as a C minor here. To G. A minor. E minor. D. Then it starts over. Now going from the D to that uh, G major 7, that's not an easy thing. And then it goes... You have to get right back in, but it ain't easy. So those four then do it again up to the... starting at the 5th fret. Then C minor. To G. A minor. E minor. D. Then it goes A. E. D. And C, G, F to A. And then it starts on this climb down on D. I don't know what that is, but it's the B and the E at the third, and the A at the third. Then you walk down, those two stay where they are. This one walks down to the second fret, and B flat. Then A, it ends on A. And it just kind of suspends it on off. And it starts over again. That's all the parts, it's just kind of a circular pattern. Nancy, quiet, come on. G, A minor, E minor, D. Starts over again, that ain't easy. Back to the C minor, to G, A minor, E minor, D, A, E, D, C, G, F to A, then it does this climb down thing, D, those three strings all in the third fret, then that's goes down to the second fret, which is really a G. Except you're not playing that low E. Then B flat to A. B flat to A. Starts over at the top again. This the version I'm doing is from the uh, that George Harrison documentary from I guess last year. And that's one of the bonus cuts on it. It's an outtake from the All Things Must Pass version and this one I believe is uh, tuned a step lower so on the if you're playing along with the all things must pass version it actually instead of sounding like this it's gonna sound like this it's gonna sound a half step up either they capoed at the first fret or they tuned up a little bit so but it's it's, it's actually done in the same chord shapes he does it as a G major 7 he's not doing it as a G sharp major 7 so uh, they I think he just tuned up a half a step for the All Things Must Pass, or tuned down a half a step for this uh, sort of demo version. But the fingerings are all the same. It'll still be D, it'll still be that, just uh, up or down a half a step, depending on which version you play with. <laughs>